It's all headed your way Hollywood style right now on Viva. Welcome to Viva, a series of specials presenting Hispanic Americans who are making it big in America. How do you know who's who among the Latin movers and shakers in the world of entertainment? One way is through publicists like Gabriel Reyes, whose company Reyes Entertainment specializes in Latino-themed projects and talent. Meet Gabriel Reyes, the Latino Pied Piper. I started a public relations company because I felt that Latinos overall, we had an image problem in this country. And that is mainstream media generally, traditionally, has not portrayed us uh, realistically or truthfully. Uh, and I'm talking about English language media. And so it occurred to me that what was needed is someone who could position our community and our demographic in the correct light with mainstream media. And I decided that I was going to be that person. Reyes was able to be that person because of his entertainment background at Fox and the Lee Solters Company, where he always made it a point to raise the visibility of Latin personalities, products, and services within the mainstream media, something he always found to be a challenge. I had a very difficult time calling and trying to pitch clients and, uh, because a lot of times they just did not see what the story was, so it became my responsibility to make, to let them see what the story was and to, and to sort of bring the story to them. Some of Reyes's clients include People in Espanol and Latina Magazine. Some other things Gabriel finds interesting are Hollywood's up-and-comers. I think those are the people who are hot, not because they're saying, oh, I'm Latin, I've worked in Latin. It's because they happen to be Latin, but they're American, and they're good at their craft, and they're good at what they do, whether it's English language or Spanish language. You also have people like Michelle Rodriguez from uh, Girl Fight, which caused a sensation over at Sundance. You know, she's not a trained actress. She's just a natural. People like Penelope Cruz now, who's following Antonio Banderas' footsteps in, you know, breaking down Hollywood. And we have a whole crop of, of young talent now that's working on, uh, you know, in, in English language television. Not as much as we would like, but um, I think that we have made inroads, and at least now there's the willingness of networks to be able to at least consider Latino-themed programming. Not that they've developed it or put it on the air yet, which is one of their shortcomings, but... Um, at least we're on the radar screen they're trying to figure out how to do it. I don't think it's aggressive racism in Hollywood. I think it's status quo. I think that the power structure is white and they give jobs to people who they know. I think that there's a lack of awareness in the boardrooms of many of the networks that, you know, they don't move in worlds of color. And so the thought of putting a, a sitcom or a drama on television with a family of color just doesn't occur to them. Um, and when they do and they miss the mark and they get it wrong, Maybe they just had no one to steer them in the right direction and say, that's condescending or it's inaccurate or, you know, it's schmaltzy and it's been done a hundred times and not all Latinos have chickens in their yards, you know. Does Gabriel see a Latino Hollywood in the future? I think that we still have a long way to go before we can actually say there is a Latino Hollywood. When I hear the words Latino Hollywood, I think of the 30s and the 40s, you know, when we had Ramon Navarro and we had Lupe Velez and we had Dolores del Rio, and these were people who were working in mainstream Hollywood, big stars, and nobody said to them, you're Latin so you don't sell. Nobody, nobody said anything to them about that. They were just stars in their own right. Um, and I want to see those days come back. I want to see somebody cast Jimmy Smith in a role that's not a Latino and say that that's fine and that he can do it. But I don't think there is a Latino Hollywood. I think that, that we, we do have some Latinos working in Hollywood. We need more.